Next to outer space and to one of the most intriguing questions since space exploration began, would it be possible to live for an extended period on the moon? To do that, water would be a critical element. And now it appears there is much more water on the surface of the moon than anyone ever knew. Here's Ned Potter. Today's discovery is something that NASA has been hoping for for years. Not only is it scientifically important, but future astronauts would find water very helpful. Water that might be used someday by lunar explorers, human lunar explorers who return to the moon, uh, to do science on the moon and perhaps as a stepping stone out into the rest of the solar system. When the last Apollo astronauts came home from the moon almost 40 years ago, scientists decided the place was even more dry than dust. There had been traces of water found in the rocks the astronauts brought back, but everyone assumed the sealed boxes the samples were kept in had simply leaked. But now, several satellites orbiting the moon have found telltale readings of ice in the lunar soil, billions of gallons of it. There had been hints of this in the 1990s, but now three papers in the journal Science say there is good proof. Astronauts have been lining up for years, hoping for news like this. They can break water down into hydrogen and oxygen for fuel and air. These are all opportunities I think would be fantastic. And just personally for the adventure of it, um, who wouldn't want to do that? <laughs> In just a few weeks, there may be even better proof. NASA plans to crash a rocket called L-Cross into the moon, and a satellite will measure precisely what it kicks up. Ned Potter, ABC News, New York.